Starting with number 10, we have Ronnie eyeing the yellow. Very tricky shots, isn't it? A bit of poor form when split the pack up. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's not just any shot. The ball bounces off the pocket with a mind of its own and then decides, all right, I'll go in. It's Ronnie in beast mode where even luck seems to say, I got your back. Moving on to number nine, it's trick shot time against Bingham. The red ball becomes a pinball, bouncing off the rails before dropping into the center pocket. Try the double. It's still... Hey! Treble. Fluke or skill, when it's Ronnie, it's always a spectacle. Maybe this is the shot why Judd thinks Ronnie is on another planet. Let's hear it from himself. I think um, he's living on sort of a different planet than the rest of us. I think money's not an issue to him. He can take chances and um, he's got such a strong follow and he's always going to be able to, to earn money in the game and, and away from the table when he retires he's got absolutely no worries so I think he's um yeah he's a bit he's a bit on his own there I think um what personally I think what Barry Hearn has done is amazing for us I think the on to number eight Ronnie's at the blue and what happens next is pure snooker poetry Seventy-nine. The cue ball is perfectly placed for the pink, followed by a spin shot that pots the black with such precision that the audience can't help but cheer. Yeah. Oh, well, how do you get that much check side on the ball? <laughs> nice play, but it'll do. Wonderful. It was offered to it. For number seven, we witness a long-distance triple shot that seems to defy physics. Doesn't fancy it, so he's looking at the three ball plant. They were taking the white, probably behind brown and green at the same time. Oh, fabulous shot. Very good plan. When you consider all those balls are four four inches. Q ball hits red, red nudges black, and black sends another red home. It's not just a shot, it's a snooker ballet choreographed by Ronnie. Here's Sean Murphy and Peter Ebden finding words to describe how Ronnie actually is. Well, we've had some unbelievably talented snooker players in the history of our wonderful game, but have you ever seen anybody more talented than Mr. Ronald O'Sullivan? No. <laughs> no is the honest answer. He is the most naturally gifted snooker player I've ever seen. Um, and I don't think in snooker there is a, a better sight to see than a, a Ronnie in full flight. He's great to watch. He really is the all-round package. He's got a brilliant safety game. He's got a safety game which can destroy other world-class players. It's that good. Do you and think Ray Reardon had a bearing on that? Oh, absolutely. And, and, and I don't think enough has been said about that because I think Ray Reardon made an enormous impact um, into Ronnie O'Sullivan's game, completely transformed his game, so much so that the last time he played Ali Carter in, in the final of the World Championship, in my honest opinion, Ronnie O'Sullivan was as close to being unplayable as anything I've ever seen. His safety was that good. You just, you were in trouble whenever you came to the top. Number six brings us to a shot that's all about finesse. The red is hugged so close to the railing, it's nearly invisible. But Ronnie, with perfect placement, pots it like it's no big deal. It's shots like these that make him a legend. Go on, White. Go on, White. That is perfect. What a shot left-handed, ladies and gents. Unbelievable. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Number five has Ronnie working magic on the pink. With a top spin so precise it dodges all obstacles, he positions the cue ball exactly where it needs to be for the yellow. 78. Oh, look at this shot here. I mean, the top spin he created there. The white stop, and then all of a sudden it picked up pace. He's going to be unlucky, is he? No, he's gone past the green. What a shot there. At number four, Ronnie takes on the yellow again. But this time, he's rearranging the furniture, displacing the black and red to set up his next masterpiece. It's as if the cue ball is under his spell.
Well, what a shot he's played there. How many players would have even thought of playing that? It looked like he was playing into the reds. He was playing to free the pink and black. Coming in at number three, it's deja vu with a difference. Ronnie plays the pink, bouncing the cue ball off multiple rails to a line for the black, not once, but twice in different games. It's his way of saying, luck, never heard of her. Even Mark Williams can testify to what a legend Ronnie is. On the table, best player I've ever seen. I think they put him in front of, of uh, Stephen Hendry. Uh, best player I've ever seen, I think. I think most people agree with that now. And off the table, very strange. Now coming in at number two, a showdown with Stuart Bingham. Ronnie, from one end of the table to the other, pulls off a long shot on the red that leaves even Bingham smirking in admiration. It's the kind of shot that gets you a nod of respect from your opponent. Well, 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 well. What? Well, Stuart has to smile and have a look at this. Eight. On these tight pockets. You're having a laugh, Ronnie. <laughs> How can you make a ball not touch the size? What another, another great shot. How can you make a ball? And finally, at number one, against Mark Selby, Ronnie delivers a long pot on the red, filled with so much calculation and challenge, it's almost criminal. <laughs> the look on Selby's face, priceless. It's not just a shot, it's a statement. What a shot that is. As Selby said, When he's on the top of his game, is more or less impossible to beat. And that's a wrap for this video. What is your favourite shot from Ronnie? Let us know in the comments. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.